tell them check out the blog, bro. YouTube channel called MKO. It's pugilism, boxing algorithm. M stand for Marvin and Kevin's initials KO. Yeah. What's good, ladies and gents? Welcome to the MKO pugilism boxing channel. We're talking all things boxing. Always remember, like, subscribe to the channel. More content, you know, always coming at you with the fresh material. Um, you know, just here to talk to you now about the uh, Matchroom Fight Camp Week 2. Uh, this is just about the undercard. We've already talked about um, Terry Harper defending her title against Natasha Jonas. A um, little bit of a controversial draw, close fight. Um, we certainly thought that uh, Jonas won the fight just by slight, small margin there. But um, yeah, so now just going to speak about some of the best of the rest. So on the undercard, we saw some very good performances. Um, we had Anthony Fowler, who, um, you know, came through, uh, boxed a very, very dominant fight. Um, he was uh, landing some very good uh, shots to the body. Um, he he kind of got warned and and was almost um, according to referee in John Lewis he was almost thrown out of of his fight um, because the, apparently these blows were quite low. Um, it was interesting to me because on the camera, you know, based on what I was seeing, they all looked to be kind of borderline. None of them to me looked particularly low. I think the lowest of the lot of them, he kind of got him on the on the waistband. You know, so I don't know. I found that a bit strange. I didn't really agree with the referee there, but um, Foul eventually gets the stoppage in um, round seven. Um, his opponent really, I think, should have been stopped uh, several rounds earlier when he was really getting bashed up because, I mean, Fowler just basically gives this guy just a, a one sided beatdown. You know, the, the pretty much the whole of the fight. Um, was was just a one-sided beatdown, really. I mean, Fowler was was never really in any danger, was never really in in any trouble at all. It was just literally um, from from the word go, from round one, Fowler was just giving this guy a, a beatdown, and and you know that was pretty much it. Um, I think the corner gave the you know their man too much of a chance, really. I think. Really and truly, this guy, he should have been um, taken out because all those blows to the head, yes, you're proving you're brave and you're proving that you really want it, you really are a fighting man. But at the end of the day, that's that's not going to serve you very well in the future. You know, that's not going to bode well for the rest of your career if you're, if you're out here taking blow after blow after blow and you're not, you know, the guy had no chance really of winning the fight. He was never going to win the fight. The best he could do is just get to a, a decision by some miracle. And, you know, rightly so, the referee and John Lewis, he stopped the fight after a while because it was just ridiculous. The guy was just taking a beating. But, um, yeah, for Fowler, he's not going to have really learned much from that fight. But it's just one of them ones there where, you know, you've been out of action for a little bit. Um, the guy apparently that he fought hadn't been active since about... I don't know, 20, late 2017, early 2018. So, so he was told the guy, you know, you've been out for two years, so don't worry about it. And um, we also had Chris Billum Smith, the cruiserweight, who looked very good in his uh, fight. Again, stopping his man quite early. You know, very good display of power and just pretty much overpowered his opponent and won very well in inside the distance. And um, another one we had was Prospect, trained by Dave Caldwell, Hopi Price, who he, he had a very, um, he had a bit of a rough time of it, but it was one of those where it was a good fight, good six rounder where, you know, Hopi Price would have learned a lot from it. Um, you know, he, he would have learned a lot of patience from it because his opponent was very rough with him, very game, you know, looking to come and take him out. But Price just sort of was very composed, very relaxed, just took his time and um, went the distance. And, and I think those rounds will um, serve uh, Hopi Price very well because, you know, that, that's what you need as a youngster. You need to be in there with tough guys, guys that are going to come to win, guys that are going to come to sort of test you and everything. And yeah, it was it was good. So the undercard itself was, um, you know, pretty decent. Hopi Price got some rounds. 
um, Chris Billum Smith done very well got his um, knockout victory very very powerful guy and you could just see with um, Billum Smith he was just a far stronger and sort of superior guy the far more powerful uh, fighter there so it was it was um, it was interesting overall there was entertainment I think the Fowler fight was just a one-sided beatdown but at the end of the day it was quite entertaining and yeah quite quite decent undercard but I think the um, the main event, you know, is really what what sort of took the cake. The main event was the best of the of the action, high skill level and everything. But yeah, the undercard, considering you know we're in this um, period where there's so many restrictions in place, definitely hats off again to uh, Matrim and Eddie Hearn putting on a, another decent card in in Matrim Square Garden, you know, especially under these circumstances. So, till next time, this is MKO Pugilism, over and out. See you on the next vid.